Hello everyone, Anna here. In today's video, I am going to talk about pancreatic cancer, a serious and often fatal disease that affects thousands of people every year. Pancreatic cancer is a type of cancer that starts in the pancreas, a gland that produces digestive enzymes and hormones that regulate blood sugar levels. According to the American Cancer Society, pancreatic cancer is the 10th most common cancer in the United States, but the third most deadly. It is estimated that approximately 64,000 people will be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in 2023, and nearly 51,000 people will die from it. Pancreatic cancer accounts for about 3% of all cancers and about 7% of all cancer deaths in the US. Pancreatic cancer rarely occurs before the age of 40, and more than half of cases of pancreatic cancer occur in those over 70. Risk factors for pancreatic cancer include tobacco, smoking, obesity, diabetes, and certain genetic conditions. About 25% of cases are linked to smoking, and 5-10% to are linked to inherited genes. Usually, no symptoms are seen in the disease's early stages, and symptoms that are specific enough to suggest pancreatic cancer typically do not develop until the disease has reached an advanced stage. By the time of diagnosis, pancreatic cancer has often spread to other parts of the body. However, there are some warning signs that people should be aware of and seek medical attention if they experience them. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the five warning signs of pancreatic cancer that you should not ignore. Also, at the end of the video, I will share with you some tips on how to prevent pancreatic cancer and especially two very important foods. Sign number one. One of the most common signs of pancreatic cancer is abdominal pain that spreads to the sides or back. This pain may come and go and may be worse after eating or lying down. It is caused by the tumor pressing on the nerves or organs around the pancreas. Sign number two. Another sign of pancreatic cancer is jaundice, which is a yellowing of the skin and the whites of the eyes. Jaundice occurs when the tumor blocks the bile duct, which carries bile from the liver to the intestine. Bile is a fluid that helps digest fats and gives stool its brown color. When bile builds up in the blood, it causes jaundice, dark urine, light-colored stools, and itching. Sign number three. Pancreatic cancer can also affect the production of hormones that regulate blood sugar levels. This can lead to diabetes or worsening of existing diabetes. Diabetes is a condition where the body cannot use glucose properly, resulting in high blood sugar levels. Symptoms of diabetes include excessive thirst, hunger, urination, fatigue, and weight loss. Sign number four. Pancreatic cancer can also cause weight loss and loss of appetite. This is because the tumor interferes with the digestion and absorption of nutrients from food. People with pancreatic cancer may feel full quickly, have nausea, vomiting, bloating, or diarrhea. Sign number five. Some rare types of pancreatic cancer can produce excess hormones that cause specific symptoms. These are called islet cell tumors or neuroendocrine tumors, and they account for less than 5% of all pancreatic cancers. Depending on the type of hormone produced, these tumors can cause symptoms such as sweating, anxiety, lightheadedness, stomach ulcers, diarrhea, or skin rashes. These are some of the warning signs of pancreatic cancer that you may experience. However, Keep in mind that these symptoms can also be caused by other conditions that are not related to pancreatic cancer. Therefore, it is important to consult a doctor if you've had any of these symptoms for a long time or if they get worse. Early detection and treatment can improve the chances of survival and quality of life for people with pancreatic cancer. Now, some important steps to lower your risk of getting pancreatic cancer. 
don't smoke. Smoking is the most important avoidable risk factor for pancreatic cancer. Quitting smoking helps lower your risk. Watch your diet, body weight and physical activity. Getting to and staying at a healthy weight might help lower your risk. Getting regular physical activity can help you stay at a healthy weight and may also reduce your risk of pancreatic cancer. Processed and red meats and sugary drinks may also increase the risk of pancreatic cancer. The American Cancer Society recommends following a healthy eating pattern that includes plenty of fruits, vegetables and whole grains and that limits or avoids red and processed meats, sugary drinks and highly processed foods. Avoid alcohol use. Heavy alcohol use can lead to conditions such as chronic pancreatitis, which is known to increase pancreatic cancer risk. It's best not to drink alcohol, but if you do drink, you should have no more than one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. Limit exposure to certain chemicals in the workplace. These include pesticides, dyes and metals. Finally, a research concluded that there was evidence that consumption of citrus fruits and curcumin reduced risks of pancreatic cancer while there was a possibly beneficial effect from whole grain, folate, selenium and non-fried fish. Please note that the content of this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. The information in this video are based on my personal research and they may not be suitable or applicable for everyone. Make sure to consult a qualified professional before making any decisions based on the content of this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more health related videos. Also, if you found this video valuable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. In the meantime, embrace wellness, live healthy, live long, 